Rocket Jamesy. This is Mr. Baxter from Hole in the Sky Broadcasting Company, KZ95. Tonight, I possess the great pleasure in introducing the curiously strong entity that will randomly select 10 short films tonight. It is with my utmost gratitude and greatest pleasure that I introduce to you something that should have been updated a long, long time ago. The new Fire System. Welcome back to Scream It Off Screen. We're going to the lottery. We had uh, 57 submissions from all over the world. Uh, 57 balls in here represent the 57 films that were submitted. We're going to pull probably 11. Uh, and we're going to go from there. We have an in-studio audience tonight, as you heard. Very exciting. So, I am going to refer to them as the ISA, pro or, uh, to make it even easier, I'm going to do ISA. So they're going to be the ISA. ISA. All right, who's first? Let's get a number. Who's it going to be? All right, up first is number 35. And Mr. Baxter, who is number 35? Number 35 is Margarita Parenas from Las Vegas, Nevada. Hey, congratulations, congratulations, Margarita. Good work. All the balls will go right here. OK, let's get to it. Let's rock it, Jamesy. Let's rock it. Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? Up next, we have number 48, Mr. Baxter, number 48. Are you Mr. ready Baxter. for number 48? Who is number 48? Number 48 is Remy Jacko oh my from God. Minneapolis, Minnesota. Congratulations, Remy! Remy Chacon is in studio right now. He's in house tonight at Remy. MCN6. All right, who's next here? Oh, one of my favorite numbers, Nintendo 64. <laughs> Nintendo 64. That's Zachary Atkinson from Swartz Creek, Michigan. Great work. All right, who's it going to be? What number is it going to be? Up next, 7 plus 7 equals 14! Number 14! 
number 14. And Mr. Baxter, who is number 14. All the way from Brooklyn, New York, this is Gavin South. Congratulations, Gavin. Congrats. Who's going to be next? What a night it's been so far. Wow. Up next, we have, oh, my brother's favorite number, number four. Number four. And who is number, number four? Number four is Baxter? CB from Michiana. C CB. CB, okay. That's my initials. Yeah, yeah. Cortland Baxter. All right, up next. Oh, wow. So this is crazy. It goes from my brother's favorite number to my favorite number. And my favorite number is, of course, three plus three. Six! Yeah, yeah. Well, number six. Are you ready for number six? That's Who's Chris Shadbolt from New Jersey. Congratulations, Chris. Congrats, Chris. All right, up next, this one's for you. Number 34. Number 34. <laughs> Number 34 is Luis Antonio Rodriguez. Congratulations, Luis. All right. We have a few more balls left. Remember, all filmmakers out there, you have to stay till the end, whether you make it in or not, or else your IP address will be sold overseas. Up next, we have number 56. 56. 56. Mr. Baxter. Are you ready for 56? Who is number 56? 56 is Stacy Gill from Money, Illinois. Or is it Money? Congratulations, Stacy. All right, we have one more official ball left, and then I, I suppose we'll do a wild card in case one or two wild card. A film isn't available. So this is number 10 for the night. All right, and it is, of course. Five times five, which is? Number 25 comes from a long ways away. Number 25 is Jiri Balkar from the Czech Republic. Congratulations, wow. Jiri. Anyone been to the Czech Republic? I, 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 I've been there. Okay, good. Wild card I have been ball. There. Here we go. I don't like this one. I'm not looking at the numbers. What do you think, Screamy? This one? Why don't you pick it out, Screamy? All right, wild card. Remember, you got to stick around if uh, whether or not your ball was drawn, or else we will sell your IP address overseas. We have people standing by who are good at that. This is uh, also one of my favorite numbers, probably in my top five. It is my favorite number upside down, which is nine. number nine. Yeah, number, number nine. nine. Number nine. All right. Number nine is Daniel Mart from Miami, Florida. Congratulations, Daniel. Congratulations. Okay, there we go. We have 11 balls. We'll probably play all 11. We'll yeah, definitely see play 10 all 10. There. But if there's a film that's not here, we'll take the wild card and put them in their spot. And then if there's another one that's not here, I suppose we'll just uh, have a studio audience member pull a ball out of here later. So that's very exciting. I just want to say thank you so much to all the filmmakers who did submit. I'm guessing submissions are open again right now, so never give up. If you keep doing it, you'll probably get in eventually. I think that's uh, what the odds are for that. I think that's correct. We're going to have...
to have a great night. This is the first time, first one. The ISA is doing great, the in-studio audience. ISA. ISA. Just pan. Show is. Oh, I did 10? Yeah. Shit. All right. Well, sorry, I apologize at home. I know that was probably kind of stressful. <laughs> I didn't, the, the tape is clear, so it's hard to see. I didn't know where one started and the other ended. And that happens sometimes. And mistakes are fine. Isn't that right, Mr. Baxter? Mistakes are just fine. So, here we go. The new Number system. 11 wild card the new ball is... System. Oh, shoot. Baby, wait a second. Oh, I remember... Okay, sorry. It's a baby blue ball, and it's number seven. Well, wait a second here, Terry. And who is... What? We already did that one. You don't have that one? We already did it. Cody no, we Banks. Did. No, I... See, I thought that too. Well, okay, I said so Cody Banks. What happened? I'm going to let everyone know at home what Agent happened. Agent Cody Banks. What happened? Well, I want to give Cody, you know... Give two, Cody a shot. But let's just wait a sec. So, uh, I did, we did a little test with the in-studio audience with the lottery, and I pulled seven before oh. the show, but it didn't count for anything. So in my head, and also in Baxter's head, we were thinking, oh, we already did that one, but we didn't. So seven is the wild card tonight. Number seven, from Los Angeles, California, Cody Banks. Cody Banks. Agent Cody Banks. Congratulations. Stick with us tonight. Boom, 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 da, da, da. He's Agent Cody Banks. Cody Banks. Number seven, Cody Banks. Los Angeles, CA, California. Ka. Cody Banks. One wild shot. So, are we, see, the thing is, I don't really know, I don't really know how to tell whether we're live or not. In the old show, it was very clear, there wasn't much noise, and it was just, you know, the control room's over here now, the control room was always just in the same room. So it looks like we're still live, and there's like a ticker going with people's names, so if they're just arriving now, they can see that they made it. And I just want to remind everyone at home, if you did submit a film, whether or not you got in tonight, you got to stick around or else we're going to sell that little IP address overseas. You know, it's not something we want to do, but unfortunately we had to start doing that we had to. Uh, about a half a year ago. It was completely necessary to Xbox keep people and... watching, keep views up. But now we're here. We're here. At MCN6. MCN6. We've got the king. King. Yes, we do. King. Oh, king. Play me a song. King. Play me a melody or two. Yes, you're the best. Best. You are something that I know. Yes, you're the winner.
How long is this roll? Let's get on with the show. It's expected to have little things like this not go perfectly. When it's your first time. Okay, I guess that's it. Boy, Lake Boy, I don't give a shit. Shit, 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 shit. I'm feeling competitive. Let's play some games. Well, I can do that. You've been working hard. Come over and take a load off. We're also going to talk about the rules for tonight's competition. All films will have the chance to be gonged. For films four minutes and above, that will be the three minute mark. For films four minutes and below, that will be the halfway point. You'll know when this mark is reached because a little red square will appear in the lower left-hand corner of the screen. When the red square appears, a link will populate the chat. Click on this link and you will be directed to a third-party site called Strawpoll in which you will vote to either gong or let the film play. Majority rules. It's time to feel the power and vitality that Jungle, in combination with limiting refined sugars, can bring to your health. We highly recommend voting on a separate device from your main source of watching the film. At the end of the night, all films that did not get gonged will be eligible to win a cash prize sponsored by you. If you'd like to donate, we have links to Venmo and PayPal in the description of this video. These accounts are 100% secure, and you can take that to the bank, baby. All donations up to 10101 will go directly to the winner. Everything above that will go to feeding Screamy. And the dog! <laughs> After all films have played, we will post a link to vote for your favorite in the live chat. You will have three minutes to vote. After this, we will tally the results and announce the winner live. <sighs> what? Oh. 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 How do you do that? Can we show you? Put this one here. You don't need this, okay? Um, yep, one, two, yep, one. I'm never gonna get this! Don't say that! You can't keep doing it! All right, that's enough. Break's over. I want to help. Whoa. 
Well, I think that covers everything. Let's bring out the gong. This is Mr. Baxter from Hole in the Sky Broadcasting Company, KZ95. Coming to you live from Epicor off Highway 169, a structure that commands the highest form of respect at a doctoral height of 2,512 feet tall, this is Scream It Off Screen. Tonight, 10 short films plus one wild card selected randomly by the new lottery system will compete for your viewing pleasure. What will be gone? Will the sloshed in-studio audience generally agree with the more coherent people watching from home? Will the ISA make a huge mess and halt all possible future Scream It Off Screen productions at MCN6 Studios? What filmmaker will court the big grand prize and have a good night? Watch the whole show to learn these answers, please. Also tonight, Screamy may be back, baby, and might carefully paint a portrait of someone in the audience, or maybe not. King has decided to grace us with his domineering, sometimes corporate presence tonight as well. Hopefully he remembers what we rehearsed. Here is your host from MCN6, it's Terry. Up first, well, first off, I just want to say Screamy is back. If y'all didn't see, at home, for those of you at home, I know it's been a while. It's been rough for Screamy recently. Seems like it's often that way. Uh, first, we got You Got the Look by Margarita Perenas or Perenas. Does someone know how to do it? What's the name? The last name? Come up here and just say it in the mic. Please, if you're, if you're comfortable. <laughs> Pronunciations have never been my strong suit. You know the name. I, I, I can't raise it. Yeah, I don't know either. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> I want to say uh, Margarita. Parreñas. All right, let's check it out. Give me the board, please. Dane. Oh, okay, yeah. Let's check it out. I'm Ari Parreñas. I am a filmmaker with Astro Girls Aesthetic and a special education teacher. My film today is a lot more serious, but it's something very near and dear and important to me as an Asian American in media and a teacher in American schools today. Thank you for the opportunity. I hope you enjoy it.
because I've recently started dating again. I get DMs that are so fetishized. The messages I get are often so sexualized. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Men, like especially white men, yeah. they, they send me dick pics immediately. They're like, ooh, I've always wanted an Asian boy. Like, do they really like me for me? Or do they like me because I'm Asian? Uh, recently on a couple dates with this dude, we would talk about traveling and he would only talk about like the Asian countries he'd travel to. And he had traveled everywhere and he would just talk. I he never even asked. That's yeah. true. <laughs> That's true on top of it. I didn't ask you any of this, dude. I don't care. Oh my God. The worst first message I can ever get. And I get all the damn time, whether it's on a dating app or just in my DMs. Mabuhai. Oh my God. Yes. Yes. All yes. The time. I don't get all of the, that has happened to me. Mm -hmm. And it's specifically I've come from my man. <laughs> I completely relate. And then they start talking to me in Tagalog and they're like, oh, I spent this much time in the Philippines. And I'm like, bro. <sighs> bro. No, I was born in Southern California. <laughs> what I'm seeing is that older men like or you could call them boomers in their like mid 40s early 50s those are like boomers right <laughs> yeah sure <laughs> but, just, but that age range and it's been up to like 60 before they see me as an object and not a person and honestly i, I still don't know how to navigate that truly because mm -hmm. like if i were to get a message right now talking about mabuhai i would probably just ignore it Same. but like it puts you in a funk. It puts me in a funk. I feel gross every time, yeah. even if at a like minuscule degree, mm -hmm. like yeah. it's so irritating. It's just another micro interaction, right? So we get yeah. used to the- It's hard to pinpoint like which ones are really harmful in the long run or which right. ones are detrimental, but- I think yeah. it's extremely dangerous. Cause then like, I also can't imagine a younger Asian who doesn't know himself as a person and is not confident mm -hmm. saying no and who's seeking that attention mentally in the long run, this could really damage them and think it's like they don't offer anything else but their body. It brings up a lot because of that, because I am a sexual assault survivor and sexual abuse survivor. So I'm thinking about that a lot anyway. And then this dude shoots everyone, kills them because he is fetishizing these women so harshly that he had to kill them. Like, that's yeah. so sickening. So like, sickening. It's a lot of things rolled into one. It's gun violence, it's hate crime, and it's racism, the pandemic. Yeah. So like all of those things mixed into one, it's like, I don't even know how to feel. It's like, how do we find power in ourselves without being objectified to it. And I guess that's why like, it's like, you know what, I'm- Yeah, and honestly, it's, it probably sounds bleak, but it's not new. It affects us. It's like, is that really all we're seen as? Yeah. Like it's not. You know, coming up and everything we've seen, we just didn't see people that look like us on the big screen. If it was, it was for the stereotypes. It was to see the nerds, to see the people. <laughs> The same type of characters in the movie and it's like And we'll do the song right after it. That's one, the man they're two, supposed to date. Three, you know what I mean? four, if we're going one, back to the two, context of dating, three, you know what I mean? It was very like on the way in the night see them fall see them fall on the fire oh so bright so bright they never saw so for those of you at home i think we're going to have some kind of some kind of words on the screen for you during that so you can sing the song as well I'm sure you'll pick it up very quick. Okay. We're not gonna be able to do that. Okay. So the, the lyrics are just see them dance, see them dance on the hill in the night, see them fall, or did I get that wrong? See them dance, 
see them dance on the hill in the night. See them fall, or watch, is it see or watch? See them fall, see them fall on the fire, oh so bright, so bright, ooh ooh. And you'll pick up the melody, I'm sure, very easily. It's an easy song. That's right, it's on the YouTube channel as well. Uh, four parts harmony. If you would like to learn that on your own time, please do. And then come to the in-studio show here or come to the show on First Fridays at the Parkway Theater and we will sing that song all together in a room. Up next, we have something very exciting that's a first in streaming off screen history. Someone in the studio got drawn. And I assume, Remy, you want to introduce your film here, right? You got to. You have to. So here's Remy Chacon to talk about his film, Downloaded. Do you want to take it there? Yes. You take it there. I'm taking it? Yeah. This is the first time I've taken it from you, Terry. I like it when you hold it. Uh, I feel bad following that one a little bit because mine is a different feel. Uh, I did submit my 20-second introduction. I think it went something like, Hi, I'm Remy Chacon, and you're going to watch my film called Love and Life. It's a film about my puppet Harold and me having some good times and some bad. Oh, God, my eyes! And that's how it went. You can, I, there's no way to watch it. Yeah. All right, let's check it out. All right. Downloaded by Remy Chacon. Let's rock it. Yes, Jimmy. Do you want our spirits together? Yes, Jimmy. 
I gotta apologize to you. I messed up the name of your film. Yeah. You didn't notice? It was called, or it is called Love and Life, correct? And I said downloaded for some reason. I don't know what happened. Anyway, you coming in here, King, or what? We had a whole little plan, and now everything's off. The timing's all off tonight. Well, they were. I think they just went away. Okay, so, okay. Just keep playing your thing, and then I'll... Okay. The stars are back. <sighs> all right, so we are going to do a little call-in thing tonight uh, through my, my little cell phone. So you can call in a second. Also, just want to remind people to donate. Uh, everything up to 10101 goes to the winner. Everything else goes to Feeding Screamy and the dog that a lot of you probably haven't seen. But uh, it's important. If you like this show, please uh, chip something in if you can. Just a little bit. A lot of organization. A lot of stuff goes into it. We love it. Anyway, uh, do the thing. No. Curious? Oh, well now, now someone's calling. All right, hello, scream it off screen. Howdy. Howdy. How are you? I'm good, how are you? What do you have to say? I'm doing all right, how about... So, uh, how about these films so far, bud? What? How about what? The films. How about yeah, them? That's good, man. Here, I'm glad I want to talk to you. Hi, Mr. Terry. How about these films tonight? It's it's they're always great. Love to hear it. Thank you so much for uh, tuning in. Thank you for having us. Uh, thank you for putting this on. We appreciate you. We appreciate all performers, unless they're transphobes or homophobes or racists. Okay. All right. Have a good night. Sounds good. See you on the stream. Bye bye. Thank you. All uh, right. What a call. I don't... Let's do your thing now. I wanted to do our thing. This is a film competition. We wanted to involve more more film stuff like that. So hopefully we can uh, appease everyone in the audience who asked for that. Hello? It turned mute your... Is it is? Wow. Gonna give Cody you knew it. Gonna let you die. All right. I wasn't searching any videos. I thought, oh, whatever. All right. 
dum, All right. Dum, 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 dum. If you're out there and you got a good phone call, please call in. Dum, 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 dum. This isn't. I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. I think I think Michael McDonald should do that song. Never gonna it's give kind you of song. Yeah. Never gonna do Never gonna, gonna let you do it from somewhere. Never gonna do it. Uh, Alright, up next we have Dis He's still on the line. Yeah, someone's on there. <laughs> up next we have Disturbance by Zachary Atkinson. And I believe Zachary is joining us live right now. What do you have to say? This isn't Zach, but what do you have to say? Dude, what's up? All right. With that, let's check out uh, the intro for Zach Zachary's film here. Hello, everyone. My name is Zachary Atkinson, a filmmaker from Michigan and director of the short horror film Disturbance. Uh which is loosely based on a true story. It revolves around a family who is just enjoying their night when they are interrupted by a mysterious knock. I hope you enjoy the film. children answered with a cheer that was music to the Blackheart's butt, and almost immediately they repeated their goodbyes to Peter. This puzzled the pirates, but all their other feelings were swallowed by a base delight that the enemy were about to come up the trees. They smirked at each other and rubbed their hands rapidly and silently. Hook gave his orders. Probably just the house settling. Well, it's time for bed now. Uh, no, we can finish the book tomorrow.
It's okay. It's fine. I don't think it's anything to be worried about. What was knocking? I don't know. It might just be an animal in the wall. Okay, it's okay. I got you. I got you. Mom, it's all right. It's all right. Mom, where is Maggie? 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 Mom! Where is your sister? I don't know. Stay with me. Mom! Kate, we need to find your sister! Maggie? Katie? Katie! Maggie! No! Maggie! Katie! No! Maggie! Maggie! No! Maggie! Maggie! Katie! Katie! No! <clears throat> this is Mr. Baxter. Are you tired of store-bought antacids aggravating rather than alleviating heartburn and acid reflux? Rum Rum Tummy Ass Antacid Tablets will bury the hatchet. Rum Rum Tummy Antacid Tablets use a proprietary blend of ginger, turmeric, acai berry, and other natural non-GMO superfoods like ginseng to neutralize stomach acids within three minutes. Simply place one or two tablets under the tongue, sit against a wall or parked car, and catch up on emails while the amazing Rum Rum Tummy Antacid tablets do their work. Did we mention the secret ingredients is artisan rum? Old Abbey's Rum has been small batch distilling non-GMO sugar cane rum from the Caribbean in 30-year-old juniper pine barrels for 65 years in northern Idaho. Taste the heart of the North as you tame heartburn, acid reflux, indigestion, stomach cramps, diarrhea, and headaches. Use promo code ADULTSUMMERFUN22 at checkout for 5% off your first order of $40 or more of Rum Rum Tummy Antacid Tablets. Back to you, Terry. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Baxter. Here we are. I love diarrhea. Things are going great. Are, are all of you in the audience voting? Yes. Really? Okay. That's very good. We have the power. Oh, yikes. Hit my eyeball a little bit. It's all right. The pizza's gone, it looks like. No? Who's got their antacid tablets? Rum, rum, tummy, rum. All right, up next, we have Panic Catac by Gavin South. Panic Catac. Catac. Gavin, introduce your film. Hi, my name is Gavin South. 
And this is my film called Panic Attack. Cat Attack, because it's about a cat who is followed by a personified figure of his severe anxiety as he goes through multiple parts of the day and eventually is in his own personal hell. Hi, how are you? Uh, can I please get a black sugar milk tea? Cash or card? Oh yeah, card. Here you go, with some spit like you asked. Hmm. Well, that is me. Come on, man. You don't have to take it. Thank you so much. No way. Hey, yo. Glenn. It's me. Your buddy. Your pal. How's it going, bro? I've been texting you for a couple weeks. You haven't gotten back to me. Is everything all right? A lot of boba tea. No text though. You been ghosting me? You been fucking ghosting me, dude? Hello? Please read the rules. Hmm, wonder why I wasn't doing that before. Hello, sir. Would you like some milk tea? Come on, man. This is my happy place. You know I want that. Here you are. Okay, baby. Night 
where Screamy is going to fish someone out of the audience to do their self-portrait. So who wants to get caught? Who wants to get caught? Come on! Come on, little fishies, who wants to get caught? Get those gills going. All right. All right, let's get a good look at you, Sam. All right, so Screamy is going to paint Sam's portrait over the course of the show. And afterwards, Sam can have the portrait or someone in the in-studio audience can pay 100 bucks if they'd rather have it and, and beat Sam out. So that's how we're going to do it. Or someone at home maybe can, can throw something in too. I don't know. We'll see what happens. You guys screaming? You all good? All right. Shit. Do you need this? There we go. All right, who's ready for the next film? I can't wait to see what it is. Everything's always a big surprise on these nights, and I mean everything. <laughs> Up next, we have, this is quite the title, The Greatest Apes with CG SIOS Fan Fiction Edition by CB. So SIOS, I assume, means scream it off screen. This one sounds like it might be pretty good. I don't know. CB, are you going to introduce this? Please, please join us live. Introduce this for us. It's freaking Friday, fellow storytellers, and Terry got my ball. Oh, my God. Thank you for joining in this special Scream It Off the Screen edition of The Greatest of Apes with CG. The Greatest of Apes is a minimalist approach to storytelling. No voice actors, one day to write and produce each skit. Enjoy this fan fiction edition with a guest appearance from Screamy and an ending that you will never see coming. We are back with another shite filled evening here at our virtual studio. Usually I compliment my computer generated audience here but you dinks are looking rough. Was there a pub crawl that ended here or something? Tonight we have a special fan fiction episode of The Greatest of Apes with CG for our pals at Scream It Off The Screen. Kudos to Terry for clutching my ball with such dexterity. In this special edition we have taken measures to ensure our guest audience from Scream It Off The Screen get to see tonight's show in its entirety. We will be handling the gonging for the remainder of the show. It looks like Mr. Dungeon Master is making Screamy feel at home. We'll check back on them in a bit. Let's take a look at a clip from Face and his grandpa. Hey Grandpa Motikan. Good to see you. Thank you Face, it's good to see you too. What have you been up to? Working it Grandpa. I got a new music video, Growing My Brand. Growing Your Brand? Must be the store brand because your brand looks like all the other brands. Back in my day we had style. Sorry grandpa, them days were all about function with all 8 of your bits. That's right 8 bits of style. We used to separate the hip from the dips cause only the flyest had the flip. That is no lie, he does make that look cool. Yes indeed. That is a suave 8 bits. Your grandma still can't resist my bits. A hipster bait a trend that I haven't been able to wrap my head around, maybe you can help me with this one. Do any of you have a boudet? Yeah. You wanna tell me about how clean it is and how much less water it uses. You want to point out how bad toilet paper is for the environment. 
Your boudet is far from a pressure washer or a steam cleaner. At least with toilet paper I know when my ass is free of shit. While a boudet arrives on faith and skid marks, I simply keep working until the paper starts coming up clean. Maybe boudets are using the buddy system. I'm not checking your asshole. Don't ask. It's also possible and far more disturbing that boudets are mining nuggets with their fingers. Toilet paper is my insurance that my fingers never come in contact with my ass. If the toilet paper does fail me, this becomes a five alarm code red decontamination shower scenario. With these options for cleanliness insurance on your boudet, I can only conclude that a boudet is either running around with poopy pants or with poopy fingers. Faith and skid marks or fecal phalanges. I cannot bring myself to stuff my hand in my crack then go pick up a sandwich. Okay, I smell the boudets are wagging their poopy fingers at me now. If I'm missing something here, feel free to let me know. Mr. Dungeon Master appears to have something especially diabolical in mind for Screamy today. Mr. Dungeon Master, can you share with our Scream It Off the Screen audience what you and Screamy will be up to? Oh wow! How fiendishly funny! Mr. Dungeon Master is putting a shirt on Screamy. All those mighty muscles for not hidden away under a baggy t-shirt. That'll put an end to those percolating packs. I bet Screamy liked that rendition, that artist, artistic rendition, right? Okay. Yeah, play along with this. Let's give him something to talk about at home. tonight we're making a lot of memories I hope I hope the ISA is taking a lot of pictures okay great Sam is no 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 the NDA right now there's you can talk about anything this is live this is going to the world this is all good between between when films are playing that's when that's when we go Up next, we have 
Befriending a Crow by Chris Shadbolt. Oh, shoot. Sorry. I got, we were having too much fun in here, right? <laughs> That's right. It's a great time here. If you are in the Twin Cities area or somewhere else and you want to come here for this in-studio thing, hopefully we're going to do it again. Who knows? You, you never know what MC can happen. M6. You never know what can happen. So for the people here tonight, this might be it. Never know. We'll see. But first, uh, yeah, watch party photos. If you have some, please send them in to screamitoffscreen.com. And .com. we're going to look at some right now. I'll try and look there. Hey, look at that. Looks like they're having a great time. Nice glasses. Oh, nice. Is that Ryan Gilmer? <laughs> a serial submitter. Crafting and screaming. Wow. Looks nice. We got some dogs. Elton John, I assume. T-shirt, okay. Hey, and that's, is that here, I think? I think that's here, right? Oh, wow. That, I think that's supposed to resemble Screamy, right? Very nice. Oh, yes. How thankful we are. <laughs> We're all here tonight. And I'd love to thank all the filmmakers for doing what's right. Up next, we have Befriending a Crow by Chris Shadbolt. Chris, please join us live and introduce Befriending a Crow. Come on, Chris. Hi. This is my movie about making friends with a crow. It's called Befriending a Crow. Hope you enjoy it. So today is Friday and Fridays I don't have classes at all. Um, so I'm usually just here in my room all day alone. And this is usually like every Friday. Being here alone all the time, I thought maybe I should get a pet, you know, maybe a hamster or a lizard, but I don't have money. I have always wanted a crow friend. I've always wanted a crow to be perched on my shoulder and to squawk at anyone who annoys me. Maybe it is time to befriend a crow. And action. As plenty of people know, Crows are drawn to shiny things. So, my plan is to wander through the streets of White Plains in order to find many shiny things to attract the crows and eventually befriend one. Perfect shiny things to attract crows. We even found a pair of glasses, perfect for reflecting the sunlight and getting our crows. Oh, look at this. This is a some crows and we're gonna give them some nice offering of some soup. Just gonna pour this into the little 
cool to room temperature, just the way the crows like it. I'm gonna make a crow call, and we're gonna have to go back inside so as not to frighten the crows. I gotta be loud. Let's go inside, wait for a crow. And so it would appear, after days of leaving these out, waiting for a crow, my soup is untouched. The shiny thing's completely the same. I look out at the crows flying about. Such free creatures. I just want to be their friend and because of this, I suppose I'm only left with one more option. Hear the call? I do hear the call actually. Call! Call! It's up here. Ah! This is a Please help me out on this one, Isa. Um. All right, thank you all so much. <coughs> Stars are out tonight. <coughs> Thanks for humming along with me. Thank I you. Cut it, I cut it too early. Yeah, it's not what we practiced. I know. But it rarely is. <laughs> it's better this way, that's right. <laughs> that's right, Remy, it is better this way. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. We're having fun, we're having fun, we're having fun, we're having fun. 
We're having fun, 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 yeah, yeah. All right, we're having a lot of fun here. Oh, okay. So for the people at home, what happened in that last one, I guess it was 50-50 in terms of gong and let it play. As you probably saw, if you were closely monitoring the results, like you should be. Actually, no, you shouldn't be. I'm sorry, you should be watching the film. But it was made, uh, well, the decision was made to not gong that one, I guess, in the middle of the gong sequence. So it wasn't gonged. We were very confused here in studio, weren't we? Yeah. Oh yeah. Come on. Thank you. <laughs> what? King. Yeah. You could say that again. Up next, we have Yearbook by Luis Antonio Rodriguez. And I believe Luis is joining us live right now. Take it, Luis. Subscribe. Hi. Smash that subscribe Luis button. And I am the director of the short film uh, yearbook. I'm very excited to be part of this uh, film festival. And uh, I hope you have a chance to watch the movie. Hope you enjoy it. the yearbook. I will start a short documentary tomorrow for Dr. Smith's class. Maybe we can meet for a pre-production meeting or something. What we need to do is find out if any of these people on the 1945 yearbook are still alive. If we do find them, we have to ask them like about a hundred questions at least. Yeah, I'll start writing the questions right now. Bye.
I wanted to check out the yearbook. Where is it? Did you bring the list of questions? No, bro. Why not? I honestly just rather do something else. Something else? Joe, the yearbook documentary was a great idea. Yes, man. But this yearbook's kind of freaky. Freaky? Yeah. Ever since I got this book, very strange things have been happening to me. Strange things? Yeah, man. The other day, I was writing my notes. I was coming up with the questions. And I just looked to the side and there's this freaky looking woman. Out of nowhere. I was trying to turn off the TV. And the remote would just I wouldn't turn off. It wouldn't turn off. It's like something was taking over the place. to try and open up the phone lines again. Please, if you call in, mute your uh, TV. Oh, our, okay. Here we go. Hello, scream it off screen. Hey, it's Clem, the penis guy from Rourke Productions. Oh, yes, of course. We we I talk again. I'm studio audience. I'm not, I'm not going to ask you a penis question. just want to say everything's looking good. Oh, great. All right. All right man, I'll let you go. Oh, Wonderful. Sweet. All right, we'll see you later. All right, hey, well, that was nice. Yeah. That was nice. Hey, does anybody, if we're, if we're going to do another one, does anyone want to take this call? I don't know how to handle these calls. All right, yeah, come on. All right, so I have this. Okay. Looks like Atlanta, Georgia. Okay. Hello? 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 Hi. Hi, Tang. Um, do you like to eat invisible cereal when you're excited, too? <laughs> the main reason I was calling in is because Jeff's right in front of me and he's cranked in my way. Could you tell him to, like, maybe, like, to the back of the audience? Um, we can put that in, um, our potential request pile. We got you. Okay. Sorry, right, Tang, you're done. This. Who's this? Moshi Mosh. Hello? Hi, um, I'm Gavin. Um, I made the Panic Attack uh, animated film. Oh, woo! woo! Thank you for single-handedly yeah, making you. all my anxieties be animated and cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I had anxiety watching it back. I was like, oh my fucking god. Okay, well, keep up the awesome work, Gavin. Yes, you rock! Right. Thank you. Thanks, guys. <laughs> I love y'all. Love you. All right, bye. Bye, love bye. you too. <laughs> wow, you're bye. good at this. <laughs> oh, my name is Jazz. <laughs> For my friends who are watching. <laughs> you take just yeah, one, one more. more. I'll do one Maybe more. Maybe just one more. One more. Hello? Hey, Terry. It's not Terry this Terry. time. I'm, I'm his replacement I'm for the day. Uh, I'm, I'm Jazz. Blue hair. Blue hair, Jazz? Hey, yo, uh, can we get a live studio audience rendition of Don't Stop Believing" by The Journey? Yes! Boo or no? Yes! Boo! Boo! Can you, can you play no, like a I mean, do whatever you want. I mean... We can't really fulfill that quest by um, proxy or the, everyone not really want to, but we got you in spirit, my guy. No, I <laughs> I think we should do it, but we're going to do it in a yeah, minor hey, key keep instead. Keep going. We're going to do it minor. Minor key. Okay. King, do it. This has never been done anywhere well, else. Do it if you want. I don't care. Right here. Right Just now. a yeah. small town girl. <laughs> living in a lonely 
lonely world She took the midnight train going anyway Just a city boy Born and raised in South Detroit He took the midnight train going down and did the lights. On that dark street? Oh, shit. I was... We're getting another call. I was going to have them say what happened, but whatever. All right. Well. Uh, little devil. People. All right. Oops. Right. Well, yeah. All right. Sorry, to everybody at home, that you can't see all the, the fun interactions that are happening in studio here. You'll just have to come next time, or, uh, I don't know. Buy a ticket. All right. You. We're getting towards the end. Oh, I heard, I go. That was at the Stars Route tonight. Night. I go to the hills. I heard you doing Yes. 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 All right. We're not going to relive that. If you were all there, who was there for that night? Stars are out. That was a great song for that night, but tonight the stars have gone behind the clouds. But maybe the moon is out there, I don't know. Up next we have the interview by Stacy Gill. Hey, uh, and I think Stacy is joining us live right now. Is that right, Stacy? Remember, Screamy is working on this painting. Hi everyone, my name is Miss Breezy, CEO of Breezy Films LLC. I am the director of a script to screen class held after school at my school, Langston Hughes Elementary, based out of Chicago, Illinois. I have the honor of teaching five fourth graders, three 10 year olds and two nine year olds how to write a script. After they wrote their script, the interview, I had the honor of shooting the film for them with my production company. What you are about to see now is the actual final product. I hope you guys enjoy it. My fourth graders worked very, very hard on this project and they actually had a message in it. So please do not gong it. Thank you, bye. Put twenty dollars on pump thirteen, and while you're in there, give me a bag of Lay's and an icebound water. And hey, Ma, can me and Caleb get some donuts? Sure.
may Excuse I help you? Excuse me, ma'am. I was wondering if you could spare a couple of dollars. I seem to have left my purse at home and I ran out of gas and I'm just trying to get me and my daughter home. I'm sorry. I don't have any cash on me. Hey, Caleb. Is that your mom? Hey, Janaya. How do you know her, Caleb? Mom, that's the girl I told you Caleb has a crush on at our school. No, I don't. <laughs> yes, you do. Hey, you too. Cut it out. Look, I don't mean to bother you. I just need a couple of dollars, whatever it is that you can spare. And I would be so happy to send it back to you. Cash, App, Zill, Chase, whatever. Pay me back? People like you don't pay back. What do you mean by that? You know exactly what I mean. Ma'am, have a nice day. Mom. Why did you lie to Janai and Mom about not having any money? I just saw all that money in your wallet. I had to lie because we don't give money to people who beg. But Ma, she wasn't even begging. She just needed help. Plus, Janai is our friend. I don't want you hanging with her anymore. But Mom, why? Because I said so. Do you understand me? I asked you two a question. Answer me. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma I'm about to go to my interview. I trust that I can leave you home alone while I'm gone a couple hours. Do not open the door for anyone. I mean anyone. Is that understood? Yes, ma'am. Welcome to Carpenter Technologies. How can I help you today? Hello, I have an interview with Mrs. Carpenter for 2 p.m. Okay, great, not a problem. I'll let her know that you're here. In the meantime, would you like a cup of coffee or a bottle of water while you wait? No, thank you. Okay, not a problem. If you can't for me to have a seat, I'll let her know that you're here. Excuse me, ma'am. Mrs. Carpenter will see you now. However, instead of us having the meeting in her office, we're going to have the meeting out here. There's some renovations being done as of right now. Would that be a problem? No, thank you. Not a problem. She'll be out here momentarily. Sorry about the wait. Aren't you the lady from the gas station yesterday that I was asking for help? Uh, yeah. Wait, you're Mrs. Carpenter, CEO of Carpenter Technologies? I sure am. But you were begging for money yesterday. No, I was not begging for money. I left my purse at home, and you know how that is. And I was gonna send your money back as soon as I got home. I feel so stupid. I'm sorry about yesterday. I think I should go. No, 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 wait. Have a seat. I mean, clearly I'm not gonna get the job now. I mean, I treated you horrible yesterday. Listen, a wise woman once told me, my mother, you treat people how you want to be treated. I always have mercy. And I remember her words to this day. So, you'll still interview me? Yes. Listen, if you get the job, it'll be off of your experience and not off your mistakes. Wow. Thank you so much. No problem. Shall we begin? Well, that's all the questions that I have for you today. And I'll be going over all my notes. And if you get the job, I will definitely keep in touch. Thank you so much for interviewing me. And once again, I apologize about yesterday. 
Listen, don't worry about it. Just always remember what I told you. Will do. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. You too. So, Mom, how did your interview go today? It actually was interesting. How so? Well, the lady that was interviewing me was your friend Janiah's mom. What? Yes. And she is the CEO of the company. Well, we know you're not getting that job now. Caleb, shut up. Well, I'm actually glad it was her. Why? She taught me a very valuable lesson. She taught me how to treat people the way you want to be treated. Yeah, Mom, that's what Grandma always tells us. So when will you know if you got the job? Oh my God, it's her calling now. Hello? Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, thank you. So, did you get the job? I got the job! Yay! Yay! So does this mean we could talk to Janiah again? Of course you can. I told you you liked her. <sighs> okay, okay, let's finish up eating, guys. All right, Mr. Baxter here again, wondering if you, feel, if you find daily tasks like driving and using silverware to be painful. Have you developed serious thumb and hand injuries as a result of prolonged smartphone usage? Try the Von Thumb Phone Scroller today. Simply use the Velcro strap to attach to your thumb for a custom fit. Turn it on and away you scroll. Turn your thumb aches into thumbs up. Scroll for weeks on end with minimal discomfort and relief knowing that you're saving money on future medical bills. The Von Thumb Scroller uses biomechanics to emulate the real life movements of a human thumb, not outdated gears and pulleys like other store brand thumb scrollers. Give your thumb the much needed R&R they need. The Von Thumb Scroller comes in six colors, including Kelly Green for all the TikTok gardeners out there. Use promo code Thumb Summer Great Life 22 for instant savings at checkout. You don't need a break. Where's your Von Thumb? Back to you, Terry. Thank you, Mr. Baxter. What a night it's been. Yeah. It really has, hasn't it? Nice. We gave kazoos to everybody in the audience. Maybe you've heard them. Can you hear them at home? I'm sorry if it feels like I've been neglecting you. There's a lot going on. There's cameras everywhere. There's the ISA. And on top of that, the short films are here as always. Bye. Unbelievable. What? Oh, he didn't submit a film. Yeah, if anyone... Well... So someone, two people just up and left this room. Very disrespectful to leave. Uh, so they went bye-bye. And that's too bad.
I'm pretty sure it's the first people who left tonight. But they're not filmmakers. And they're safe. Yes, but if you are a filmmaker and you did submit tonight, remember, you got to stay till the end of the show or else your IP address is being sold overseas, baby. You're going bye-bye. A light there in my city. Oh, yeah. friend, I'm lonely too. I want to be down my city by the bay. So you think you're lonely. Well, my friend, I'm lonely too. I want to get back to my city by the bay. I know you do. All the time. All the time. In my city by the bay. different part of the song changes at the end oh yeah you don't know butt rock right this jackass i was talking to him i was talking to king out there and i was saying i was saying you know that song it's by uh it's called renegade oh yeah and it's like oh mama i'm in fear for my life from the long arm of the law okay long <laughs> Whatever. The point is, is I wanted to do that, and we were going to do three-part harmony, but he says he doesn't know butt rock, and then he kind of knew it, and I guess I didn't know all the lyrics, so we can't rock. do it. Maybe we'll prepare it for next time, if there is one. Up next. Up next. You know, let's make this a little more exciting. I want someone to come up here and introduce the next film. Let's do someone, well... You said it first. Come up here, Jazz. Come on. You're... Do it again. All right. The Briefcase by Jerry Ballar. By... Czech yeah, Republic. Balgar. 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 And they're joining us live right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, live in the studio. Yes, in Yorka. I'm the writer, director, producer, and uh, actor for my film called The Briefcase. Uh, it is an action-packed seven-minute short film that me and my friend Anthony Romano decided to make. We really focused on stunt choreography and a lot of cool action shots that I think uh, required some you know, innovative 
you know, rigs and ideas. So I think uh, it's a film that's really fun. So you guys enjoy it. Thank you so much. So this is the guy they sent to fuck with me, huh? You guys are so in over your heads. What are you thinking? Five million? You can walk out of here with your balls intact. Nah, buddy. But you have no idea you just fuck. Nice man. Kill. I trust this is gonna go well, huh? Last warning, leave or I'll kill you. Hey, so what's preventing me from just walking right in and taking that briefcase? Nothing? Paying you to be a little bitch. Now get the fuck back out there. I told you to get out. I'm not telling you again.
them fall, see them fall on the fire. Oh, so bright, so bright, that is. I just got a glimpse of Screamy's portrait of Sam, one of the in studio audience members, and it's looking pretty good. We're not going to unveil that till the end of the show, though, so stick around if you want to see that. Anybody in this in studio audience looking at the chat tonight? Okay, so I was told that something is happening with Crowgate. Does anyone know what that is? It's about this crow, the, I assume the crow, the crow, what was it? So no one knows about what this is? You, Sam knows? All right, and do not look at your portrait when you come up here, but just explain what Crowgate is. Uh, it seems that the chat is upset that the crow film was prematurely gonged. Okay. Prematurely gonged. Does anybody else have anything to say to the people out there or the filmmakers tonight who's here tonight? The, the ISA? Any of the ISA have anything to say? Well, usually we just say 50-50 means that's fine. You know, it'll play. I never said that, but that's just, that's an unwritten rule we have between us. It doesn't happen much. And yeah, also, by the way, is everyone in here voting? And I hope everyone at home is voting too. You better be. Just get out the vote. You gotta vote. You gotta vote. You've got to get out and vote. Ta. Up next, got some snaps going. Can you hear the snaps at home? Please say in the chat, let's bring these, uh, the ISA together with the at home audience. ISA? ISA. In studio audience. ISA. Oh, the at home. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, I like just aha. Uh -huh. Let's bring the ISA and the AHA together. Bring. It's always good when you can be on the same team. Okay, we're reaching the end of the night. We have two more films left. Well, one official film and then uh, the wild card. I suppose we'll play it. But first we have Quince by Daniel Mart. And I hope I really hope that Daniel is joining us live right now. Oh, Daniel, please. Please join us. Please do. Just join us, Daniel. We love ye. Yeah, yeah, Daniel. All right. Oh. Oh. To you, Daniel. Sorry about that. Hello, my name is Daniel Mart, and I am the director of Quince. Can't wait for all of you to finally see it. Thank you for having me, and enjoy. Reminder to all our viewers tonight to stay safe. This Quince, known for his murder. 
murdering spree on every 15th of the month is expected to strike again. What's up, man? We start off for tonight? Yeah, man. Everything's set for party. Alright, you think you sent me the address again? Yeah, sure. Hold up. Set. Got it. Yo, yo, remember to get here before the girls. And don't forget the drinks. Alright, alright. I'll see you soon. I'll see you later. Jackson. He says he should be here soon. And Carla? She texted me. She'll also be here soon. right now. Is that the only thing you think about? <laughs> nah, that is sleeping. Surprise you even up right now, dude. Fuck all y'all. <laughs> Shot. He's 
probably dead now. What if he's just... Hey, uh, our friend just got shot. Uh, send help. 1500 Southwest 11th Avenue. Come quick. They're coming. the job and we sneak out the front door? Yo, that's fucked up. Do you got a better plan? Yo, do you hear that? Shit, we gotta move fast. reached the end of the night but first we're gonna look at some watch party photos that people have emailed in let's check those out and please if you've enjoyed tonight donate please uh, it'd be nice thank you all so much for being here things you get out of life there are four all right, so here we go. They They're here, I, or they were here. Dane, Dane and Sadie were the here, backs, and then they the left. Of life. Truth takes the lead. Pro and games. And you relax, knowing the gist of life. It's truth you need. And the birth of all things there they are. to get out of life. There are jazz. four. Hey, thanks and for watching. There may not be many, but right. nobody needs any Thanks for watching. More. All right. And then I believe that is... Rose. Truth takes the uh, yeah, nice. Thanks for watching. We the saw them already. Do not remind me of them. Pro Gate. Oh, hey, there they are. We're here right now. There they are. When you put them together. Oh wow. You know what the nice setup. <laughs> nice. Thank you. All right. Hey, there we go again. Great. See, you can have fun anywhere you are. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, we should do 3D sometime, maybe. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, thank you. Thank you. Hey. Thank you very much. Email the uh, the original over, please. We did. And there may not be many, but yeah. nobody needs any more. Of the many facts making the list of life, 
truth takes the lead and to relax knowing the gist of life it's truth you need then the second is honor and happiness makes number three when you put them together you know what the last one must be baby so truth honor and happiness and one thing more meaning love and that's the real score and more that's enough when times are tough and poor yeah thank you oh, mr yeah. baxter thank you that reminds <laughs> me of years ago years ago all right is everyone satisfied there's one more film Okay, well, we'll get to it then. We have The Greenhouse by... You remember Mr. Baxter? <laughs> no. Here, just... I should have told you. Sorry. I like how you say it. Oh. Agent Cody Banks. <laughs> Cody Banks from Los Angeles, California. All right. all right, Cody. Please join us live and tell us all about this. Hey, Terry. Uh, can I have a word with you just for a second? Stuart here. Can you come back to the room here? I'd like to have a conversation with you. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, uh, join us live. Uh, Cody Banks. Cody Banks, join us live. And then we have the greenhouse. My name's Kat. I'm Laura. Um, and this is The Greenhouse. We are super honored to be in this festival. Our film is talking about nostalgia, trance, care, girlhood, all that good stuff. Hope you enjoy. <laughs>
What a night it's been. That's it. That was the last film. Yeah. Hopefully we can do it again next month. We'll see. What was I going to say? I was going to What? Thank you. Thank you. Hey. So now we're going to vote. You're going to vote for your favorite going to vote one time. I would like to show a piece of artwork that the in-studio audience member made. The in-studio audience member. <laughs> Their Instagram, I believe, is Paint Slinger Horror. <laughs> so you can check out the picture they made and see if you want to check them out. Paint Slinger Horror. Can we get... Is it too washed out? Uh... Nice work, Bill. Yes, nice work. So that's it. A very nice representation of Screamy. Screamy is also working on some artwork tonight, and we will unveil it after we announce third, second, and first place tonight, which we will do shortly, as promised. All right. 
So let's do it. After you're done voting, remember to like, subscribe, and donate to the cause because we love you. Yes, we do. All right, let's vote. Who's everyone going to vote for? I feel the wind Make the right decision. think you're lonely. Well, my friend, I'm lonely too. I want to get back to my city by the bay. It's sad. Oh, there's been mornings out on the road without you, without your charms. Oh my, 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 my. Whoa, whoa. Oh, we have some results here. First, I want to say thank you so much to all the filmmakers who did submit tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Isa. If you didn't get in this month, or if you did, or if you got gonged or whatever, it doesn't really matter. Just submit again next month. Go for it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Dun, 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 In third place. We have the interview by Stacy Gill. Stacy Gill, the interview, number three, third place. 
dum da 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 dum dum second place dum 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 da 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 dum 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 da 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 dum 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 you're not going to believe this so dumb it's the green green house by Cody Banks by Cody Banks second place all right, dum, 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 here we go. Da, 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 in first place, da, 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 in first place, da, 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 you're not going to believe this. Place. Coming up, do, do the thing. In first place, What a night it has been. The stars are out. Gavin, this goes to you. You did so well. I knew you would. I could tell from the start that you would do great things. Now don't go and spend it all in one place. Everyone loves you because you're the winner. You're the winner. You're the winner. You're the winner of the show. Of the show. And now you'll go. Yes, Gavin. And do something wonderful in your community. So go. Go. But don't forget. Don't forget. What happened here tonight for it was a gift. So don't. Oh, bring the check out. Don't Take don't. this award. Lightly, lightly, because in your dreams too, get a dolls too, maybe. <sighs> you get up, yeah, I'm coming. <laughs> Oh, I want Joe in here. Get over here. Come on! You can hold the doll. No, he can. Every little thing will be all Gavin, we'll be back second Friday online and first Friday at the Parkway Theater. I hope, I hope the old Isa is there. Picture, okay. Now we're gonna take a picture, and then after that, we're going to unveil the screamy painting. Sure.
If you're gonna leave, hey, let's do a little song. Oh, yeah. Get to your mic. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to go. Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to go. I really hate you. Screaming unveiling, screaming, are you ready? Let's here we go. Bring Sam up. Let's get center stage here. Get right in the center stage, Sam. Alright, Screamy. What have you done this time? What do you think, Sam? I love it, and I will take this home and frame it unless somebody steals it from me. Yes, Sam brought up the unfortunate reminder. If anyone wants this for $100, they can steal it from Sam right now. Yes. Does is anyone uh, see the chat right now? I want to see if anyone at home is saying they want to steal it. I don't know if we're going to give it to them. I think uh, this makes sense. Who said that? Cider Company. 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 Cider Company? All right, you're not going to get it this time, Cider Company. Maybe next time, but I think Sam's going to take it time. home. Congratulations. Thanks for not playing, Sam. Never happened. Thank Forget you about to the in studio audience. Nah. -uh. Thanks, Jazz. What a night it has been. Hope you all join us again. Dane and Sadie, I can't believe you left early. Unbelievable. Yeah, boo. But the rest of you were a great Isa, a great first time Isa. And, um, there's some kind of way. I, how many people are still watching? 50? 66? There's something we could all do together with the kazoos and then just go bye bye or. Oh, yeah. Good call, Jazz. If you made it this far, you, uh, you get to keep your IP address. So, congrats to you, filmmakers. Um, um. Trying to communicate. Um. Bam, bam. Born and raised in South Detroit. Took the midnight train 
going anywhere Pivey boy Born and raised in South Detroit He took the midnight train going anywhere Up and down the boulevard, their shadows searching in the night. Beat it, beat it, beat it, street lights. People living just to find emotion, hiding somewhere in the night. To that feeling, yeah. street lights, people. Oh, don't stop believing. Hold on to that feeling, yeah. street lights, people. Scream it off screen. Bye bye and good night. When you when you make something else, you will submit it. But everybody else in here, get your scream teams together. Bye. Uh -huh.